I realized on the last one, we didn't even really talk about the elephant in the room over here. Alpha 18.4. Probably in part because there's really not much to say. It basically just fixes it so that you can no longer intimidate vending machines. Great. I mean, yeah, there are some other changes too, but that's kind of the big one, really. I'm just taking a look here at everything we have in the box. I grabbed the 9 mil because we can go ahead and throw that back over at the other base. And I guess we can move the shotgun shells. I don't know. There's really not much else to move, though. We've kind of depleted everything that's in here. What I was giving a debate to is arrows. What kind of arrows can we do? We could do exploding arrows. Rifle, grenades, gun, medieval. That sounds kind of fun. So steel arrowheads, scrap polymers, gunpowder, and duct tape. Theoretically, we could do exploding bolts. Same thing, more gunpowder. Man, one duct tape, that is super expensive. I don't know if it's worth it at this point. I was just trying to figure out what else can we make. We can probably make some pipe bombs. So plant fibers, gunpowder, short iron pipe. We could probably make some grenades. That one I wouldn't mind doing, except the forged iron portion of it. And then what about the, oh, what are they called? Hmm, it's not C4. <laughs> it's uh, some sort of explosive. What is that called? Oh man, I don't remember what it's called. Let's go to weapon stuff. Where are you? What am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? It's not in that. Is it considered a trap? It's not considered a trap. Well, what the heck is it? It's going to be under this guy because you probably need a one of these things to make it. Wouldn't mind doing some slugs now that I think about it. Interesting. Two bullet tips, four gunpowders, and polymers. I don't know. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Those slugs, uh, they, they can be pretty mean. Although we can't do big boxes of them. Charge. That's what it is. The time to charge. I was thinking we could uh, make some of those potentially, but... Man, 10 ele electrical parts. We don't really have tons of those guys. So at this point, I'm kind of just left going, well, we're just probably going to have to stick with what we have. I mean, we have some hollow point over here. We don't really have much hollow point for anything else. We could do it for the Magnum, and that's it. We still can't do the 762 hollow point. That continues to be a source of disappointment for me. But whatever. I would love to just switch to hollow points entirely, I think. Uh, you know, aside from needing the occasional armor piercing for the heavier, the heavier guys, the heavier armored guys, as it were. But whatever. We'll work with what we have, because it's what we have, and that's what we have to work with. Where are we at for points? We have two skill points available. I want to take a look at armor. Everything looks pretty decent. It's at least half. All this stuff has been upgraded... It looks like it has all set. That is good, good news. Let's go down there, and we need to get to the other side. This is going to be tricky to time all this stuff. I got to I gotta move a little sooner than I'm used to. I didn't grab any steel. Oh, I'm so unprepared. What's wrong with me? It's almost like there's a horde coming, and I'm panicking, trying to get everything in place before the horde arrives. Wow, that's all we have for steel? Well, that's not going to suffice. Uh crud. We're going to need more than that. Crud. We're going to need more than that. Okay. Well, that's that's good. Uh, metal. What do we have that's metal? We have burned all of our metal. <laughs> uh, except for the anvil. I don't want to do the anvil. Alright, well. I need more steel. And I need it pronto. Is there any steel around? I know there's some steel reasonably nearby if we go out to the desert. I don't know where anything else is over here. I guess we're taking a quick run to the desert then. 
just to go harvest some some iron rather not steel i know what i mean i just don't say it and i assume that you know what i mean and don't worry about it okay there should be some like right over in this area somewhere and it could be it's like more over here i don't know i've, I've harvested various spots so I almost kind of have to look for the random holes in the ground and figure out which one was that. Like, which one is this? What are you? You're lead. Okay. You're not the one I'm looking for. And we got this random stuff over here where I've chewed stuff up. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. Truck, don't roll too far. This will be a good chunk right here. This is not too bad. We can get maybe, say, uh, I don't know. I'd like to get more than a thousand, which shouldn't be too difficult considering there's basically like two nodes right next to each other, which in terms of surface harvesting is fantastic. I mean, look at that. We basically just hit 2,000 without even trying. That's, that's good stuff. Let's... Hi. Nope. Okay. Back to what I was doing. Oh, ran out of gas. I knew there was a reason I stopped. Okay. That's cool. Let's uh, grab... Oh, man. What am I doing here? Why? That's weird. Why are those... Not a favorite. That's strange. Those should always be a favorite. There's never any reason for them to not be a favorite. Because they are your lifeblood. Okay. That'll work. And then take this guy. Theoretically, I'll remember that's metal. At the very least, I'll remember that there's something there that I thought was important enough to build a giant stack of wooden frames to point out to me that there's something right there and that I've been over there and done stuff. Ah, uh, now the truck has run out of gas. Okay. Anything else want to run out of gas? I mean, why not? Now's the time. It's not like there's a horde coming. And that... Time is of the essence. Oh no, not at all. Not in the slightest. So I'll just very slowly run over. That makes sense, right? Okay, we are going to load you with about half of this. And I'll give you that. You're going to need more clay. So we'll just let you load up on all of that while we can. Okay, drop those guys off. So I think we should have enough to upgrade that block. Let's go do that. And then we can worry about smelting some more steel in a little while. Crafting steel, ejecting steel, I don't know, whatever. Gotta let that build up first, right? Right, right. Okay. So, perfect. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'd like to get all of these blocks here to be steel as well. That ain't going to happen. We're just going to have to be okay with this. That's just the way it's going to be. Wouldn't mind doing something like that. Can we make some more spikes here? I would mind a few more. If we do like five of those guys... What is injured over here? Oh, we need clay for... Oh. Yeah, I still... Um, I don't know if we have enough time to do this. I can't get in there anyway. I mean, I never did get around to fixing that floor. The floor is supposed to be solid, not clay stuff. So long as demolishers... As long as nothing explodes over there, basically, that's what it comes down to. And if I can keep some clay on hand, I can keep repairing that, and it'll be okay. So I'll just need to remember to keep some clay in the inventory. That way we can make repairs to the ground. 
Ah. Silly, silly problems. Just the worst. Okay, and then I'm going to eject whatever we can right now. I want to get a start on that. I don't want to wait around too long, because then I'll just end up forgetting. Five isn't going to be sufficient, but it's, uh, it's a good start. So let's go back. And I guess let's just throw some more spikes in there. I'm, I'm good with that. Come on, out we go. So we'll just kind of load up this area a little bit. And I guess I can do one more, huh? I'll put that right about there-ish. I'm going to say these all get an upgrade. They've earned it. And then we do need to have some extras on standby. So we'll go ahead and craft some extras on standby. I'm going to go get a little more wood. That way we have wood for whatever we need to repair. Which I don't know what that would be. Bars, that sort of stuff, primarily. Go harvest a tree or two right here. And we'll be fine. Apparently, Wood Spikes Trap is just going to be stuck on my screen. That's weird. I've never seen that one happen before. That's a new one. It's a pretty minor bug, too. I'm not going to argue with that one. Okay, that looks good. I am satisfied with that amount of wood. That's totally fine. I missed that spot, so I'm not going to be able to plant one. There we go. Looking good. Hello, Waterworks. How you doing? Could tear a couple of cars apart, I suppose, but eh, whatever. Let's take a quick run around the base. I'm not, and I don't want to run around. Hey, look at you. You are dry. I want to run around to the ground level. I want to run around up high. And just kind of take a, a nice high look at things here. So that looks pretty good. Lots of spikes in place. We do still have some iron, so we can reinforce some of these guys. Everything is looking pretty good. Rows and rows of spikes, which really don't mean anything or do much. Although we should probably fill in the gap over here, now that I see this. See, that's why I wanted to take a nice high-level look at things. Sometimes things stick out and you're like, Oh, well that's obvious now that I'm over here. Like that guy is injured. So what do we have left for iron? 152, but still the one steel. So we got six steel plus whatever else we can make. 152, that's 30 of, is that right? I think they're four each, so that would be 30 spikes we could upgrade. And there's no guarantee that the zombies are going to go through the appropriate spikes at this point, so I'm kind of inclined to just not do it. I don't know, if they're not going to go through the right ones, I, I kind of don't want to do it. I realize I don't need to be repairing those. It's just, I kind of want to now, okay? Oh, look at that! We're going to have a horde. If only I would have known that ahead of time. I could have started... Preparing and planning. So this guy is good, right? 275 watts out of 300. Oh boy. So we are definitely at the point where we need another generator. I'm just trying to make sure everything is good. Actually, you know what? Let me turn that back on. I want to go do a quick visual inspection to make sure that every trap is functional. So working, 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 working. Working, working, working. How many is that anyway? That's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those guys. Huh, not bad. Good work. And then theoretically, all of our electric fences are working. So I'm going to say that's good enough. I'm not going to test the electric fences. I don't have that kind of time. And I don't want to deal with that. That's just going to be annoying. Go ahead and use one of those guys. We're going to need 
to go back to the other base. Let's start grabbing our supplies. I realize we still have hours, but what inevitably happens is I get busy with other stuff and I don't realize that, oh yeah, I didn't do basic things like start working on junk ammo, which we're going to need several of that, you know? So let's get that started. And then we can grab... Let's see, do we have any vitamins on hand? We have several vitamins, so that's good. I'm going to use one right now. And then we'll go ahead and pop some sandwiches here. And we'll end up just kind of stacking up the vitamins if I remember to do it. I don't want to do it just yet. I want to kind of wait a few minutes before I chomp on them. And we'll refill that water just a little bit. That'll be fine. So we should be good on food and water for the length of the horde, the duration of the horde, if you will. And then just grab, um, sure, that's good right there. We'll leave a few extra and that's fine. Should probably make some more Molotovs now that I think about it. Need to go see how those are looking in the other base. I might need to grab some empties. So you know what? Let me grab one stack of empties, or at least close enough, and we can put that in the other base for purposes of blowing stuff up, or at least lighting them on fire. I'm going to grab one of those guys and take all the oils, too. And then where are we at with ammunition? Okay. Still collecting ammunition. That'll be a while here. You're going to be a while. One of the things that I remembered I wanted to do, and just haven't gotten around to it, I wanted to do a shotgun turret. I'm pretty sure that's why I put 60 steel in there. I just wanted to be able to make a shotgun turret. Now, that obviously is going to take the majority, well, a significant portion of our oil. And I just don't have that kind of time right now. We're going to just not worry about that, and uh, that might be... Something down the road. Oil shale and empty cans. That's easy enough to make that. We have oil shale, we have empty cans, and if not, we can make empty cans, I'm pretty sure. You can make that out of iron and clay. Nice and easy. See? I'm not sweating that. Um, food, water, no. I, I'm not done. I was supposed to grab all the medical supplies, too. My bad. So let's grab that stack and... I'm going to say that we're probably good with that, but here, let's just, we'll take the full stack. That's fine. Because if I'm not mistaken, we have a ton of aloe over here. So yeah, not to mention a ton more of those guys. That's fine. So a full stack of five first aid kits and then 10 bandages. Um, we don't have a ton of first aid kits. I mean, we can make some, but we don't really have a ton of them. I think usually we don't need more than a two or three-ish. I hope, ideally. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes I just use them because it's easy to get a ton of health right quick. There are other options, of course. So let's start getting our weaponry together. It's definitely that time. Oh my gosh, there's so much junk in here. All right, we got to drop some of this stuff off. Those guys, I don't want to drop those because they're just straight up handy. Do we have... Wow, we don't have any more Molotovs than that. That's going to be a problem. So we need to make some Molotovs. Let's make another six of those since apparently that's what we can make because we need... What do we need? Oh, cloth. Duh. I knew there was a reason I wanted more cloth. Come on. This is why I started doing this stuff a couple hours, a few hours before the horde arrived, not like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I'm leaving the door open like an idiot for a minute. It's fine. Probably start carrying around some energy drinks too, or something, because sometimes you need to run. 
Although at this day, these days, we're able to run pretty well. And since we don't have encumbrance at night, I'm not really worried about carrying a ton of stuff. Hmm. All right. Let's start sorting through this stuff. We're not going to need that. We might need some of those guys. Ooh, I need to remember to get steel out of this, so let's do that. There we go. That'll be excellent. That'll be... That'll be good. I'll feel pretty good about that. So we're going to start putting away the stuff we're not going to use, which is primarily like this stuff. Let me keep that just in case. Oh, we're carrying around so many things that we don't need to be carrying. It's just silly talk. No, I do want that. We don't want that right now, those guys. Molotovs. Can we make some more Molotovs? We are out of glass jars because I literally just put them away. So we've got nine. Let's do... Um, wow, that's a lot of gasoline. That's fine. That's why I grabbed that. I'll be fine with that. 17 is a good number. I'm I'm okay with that. We don't really have grenades, so I'm just not going to sweat them. Next time, maybe next time. Let's drop off 20,000 dukes. We still have enough that we can drop from high places and we'll be fine. We're going to need to collect all of the armor piercing. Let's grab a full stack. We already have a full stack of shells. That's enough. Let's grab a full stack of magnum. What time is it? Okay. Nine o'clock. I mean, we are going to rip through this ammo so quick. It's just going to be dumb. <laughs> it really is. Okay, let's rearrange stuff a little bit. So... I kind of want to have my oh crap guns for the heavies back there. And then... Maybe we'll put that guy back there. Let's repair you so that you're ready to go. The rest of these probably won't need to be repaired right away. I was debating grabbing the other M60 and just loading that thing up with stuff so that it's ready to go. I'm not sure, though. Okay, I'm going to go through. We're going to reload everything. That one I'm saying is fine. Okay, we are reloaded. So basically, we have everything we need. Um, probably need more junk turret ammo, if I had to guess. But I, I think we're, we're pretty good. I'm going to say we're good enough at this point. So I'm going to turn everything on. We're going to be ready to face the horde. I'm going to go get in a horde facing position. And with some luck, the horde will approach from the correct direction. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I need to go open doors. My bad. It's not that simple. I got to give them a path in. Forgot about that. Minor details. There you go. So doors open, they should have a full path in, right? Doors open, come get me. I'm just kicking back and in the back. Nothing going on. Totally just chilling, doing nothing, sight, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, let's put that one right there because that's our main one. Though I should make sure that guy is reloaded, huh? This is our primary turret. So I want to put that guy right there. And it might not be a bad idea to just keep the other turret reloaded and ready to go. So it can just be swapped down, swapped out as needed. I don't know, but then that makes it difficult to heal up. Whatever. Catch you on the next one. Till then, thanks for watching. Patreon.com slash KIC Gaming. See you later.